And there were some men who were married and didn't work out and they became the other friends. There was no problem. I could name several of them. There were some well-known names. Some of them were not that well. Some of them were not that well. Some of them were not that well. I've learned some points from this convention that uh, mainly parameters advise us to postpone um, getting married for as long as we can to stay parameters. At the same time, as you said, there is not a good statistics, but just as things are, uh, there is highly likely that um, some, some of us will get married. And at the same time, we still have very weak examples of people who actually got married. So I'm just wondering why not to try and change this tendency by educating us properly and giving a stronger foundation for shifting from one ashram to another. That's also the first thing is giving a stronger foundation in brahmacharya life. You know, just to make everybody brahmachari and then not give the stuff is not very good. There should be strong Krishna consciousness, strong classes, all the time, pure chanting, kirtan, book distribution. All the things that create a strong, happy life as a preaching, basically preaching in sadhana, strong sadhana, strong preaching, 24 hours engaged, happy life. So that should be there, not a sort of, oh, you know, yeah, we have these five or seven guys who are not married and we have an ashram for them and um, they help, you know. Um, but when there's strong sadhana, strong preaching in the Brahmachari community, then it's you're in the best position. And that, yes, for the next, because there are those who are not going to be um, career Brahmachari, as it were. So for them, yeah, get good, have a, um, opportunities for good counsel, good direction, good instruction, so that it's not the end of the world, you know. The, <laughs> life is basically over. The, um, no, that it's, it's progressive that he's from Acharya now he's going to be Grahasta, so that's appreciated. That's another ashram, Adhikari, Adhikari means eligible for devotion and service. So no, not, not uh, disgraceful. Uh, so, but then you should learn what the responsibilities are in the Grahasta. I gave a, a, an infamous course, The Holds and Horrors of Household in Life. It's about 15 minutes old, so the rest is <laughs> predictable. <coughs> but the theme of it was that you should know what you're going to get to. Because if you're expecting something unrealistic, you'll be disappointed, you'll be frustrated, you'll be, you know, why is it not working out? The nightingales were supposed to sing, and the roses bloom, and, and Hot chapatis forever in the smiling face. What happened to them? So the, the base, the, the purpose of the course is just to say, you know, let's be realistic about where happiness is going to come from. It doesn't really come from any material arrangement. And if you get married, that's fine. And just, you know, don't try to make your own head and earth out of it. You won't be so disappointed. Uh, that was the theme. So, those who are interested in Grahasta Ashram, um, they should know, you know what they can expect, what are the duties, what are the ups and downs, what, how to navigate it successfully so that you'll be a, a successful Krishna conscious Grahasta. I'm doing this and that's, that's wanted. And these things are there gradually developing in this country. Uh, just one more point, but thanks for the clarifying so, um, I also have a feeling that we mainly talk about this shift in terms of in terms of if Brahmacharya failed to overcome his sexual desire. However, in my case, I believe it's more about uh, giving a life to another child, to another Brahmacharya. And if you think how to increase the number of Brahmacharyas, then isn't it that in the long run it's better to educate them from the very beginning? 
you mean breed them rather than get them by breeding rather than conversion? <laughs> 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 well, from a pragmatic point of view, something what they call in America a crapshoot. That is to say, um, a roll of the dice. You spend so much energy and uh, invest so much in bringing up a child, and then you really don't know which way it's going to go. Um, and we, we have experience of that. So it seems to me that our, our that's sort of a shortcut way to what making brahmacharya is, you know, go out there and fish for them. Um, a lot less endeavor. And they're already out there. People who are inclined to dedicate their lives to Krishna we just have to um, canvas, you know, put up a wave of flag and see who salutes, as they say. Um, but I say there's not a lot of, you know, it's cheaper, it's a lot less anxiety, and, and so on. But if someone wants, that is the duty of the Grahasta to raise children for Krishna, for Krishna consciousness. So if one is um, pulled in that direction, we're fine. We do that. And then get, uh, that's respectable. It's not terrible. Prabhupada's general attitude was um, stay on the chart. Um, but sometimes it wasn't that a person had to be you know, desperate, kind of climbing the walls. And then Prabhupada would say, yes, no, but those who wanted to live as responsible for the rest of us, Prabhupada was fine with that. There's one that said, one, one boy and girl joined together, they were boyfriend and girlfriend, and they joined the Krishna consciousness movement, and they decided that, you know, she was going to be a Brahmachara, and she was going to be a Brahmachara. And uh, one or the other, uh, Maybe that, maybe she approached Prabhupada, we approached Prabhupada and said, this is what we want to do. Prabhupada said, it was him, Prabhupada said to him, but what's wrong with the lover anymore? As the Prabhupada encouraged, you're already connected, so just be Krishna conscious now that you have to artificially separate and you know. So if someone wants to be a grasta, that's fine. We have a, um, that will be a social function. We have a, a, a surplus of qualified unmarried girls. So you can reduce the surplus by one at least. If you're highly qualified, you can take five, but generally we recommend that point. And that's fine. Be very prosperous, make a lot of money so that the same houses can come and plunder it. <laughs> <laughs>